Lucas Media, so we've got some news coming out of Gainesville, Florida. Former five-star recruit Kermione McLean is reportedly already in hot water there. Kermione, Kermione transferred from Colorado and Coach Prime over the past season. As he played, he played a little bit down there. But, you know, him and Coach Prime, or Coach Prime has some off-the-court or off-the-field issues with Kermione. And Kermione, for best for him, ended up transferring. So he got a second chance, he ends up in Gainesville. However, as I mentioned earlier, you know, he's already on a bad foot reportedly. Now it says De La Torre was asked about McLean and he said, quote, I was told Kermani has been late most of the requirements, meetings, lifts, etc. The way that is handled is soft of a strike like a system. Essentially, you get a warning, then you have to do extra run lift. He's in a weight gain program, so we will have to do extra lifting, which he showed up late last week as well. They started to make the defense, and then the rest of the team do these extra lifts, thinking that Kermani would show up on time, and he hadn't. And also, he goes to write, quote, you're, going, you're not going to be liked in the locker room if your tardiness and maturity is causing the rest of your team to have to run. Guess to what I said about him when Florida took a flyer on him just immature needs to grow up like i said this isn't kermani's first time yeah, i remember he was suspended by coach prime now at this moment the young man he needs somebody in his corner he needs somebody in his corner i said this before in one of my previous videos he needs a father he's a father figure a role model somebody that can actually get to him now it's, it's crazy because one of the greatest players of all time and arguably the greatest player of all time in that position was the head coach and Kermani could have went through him especially like when it comes to culture endorsements just being a hall of famer but coach prime couldn't get to him then i seen when one of his high school coaches said that he's giving up on Kermani, you know and at this moment Kermani got to spread his wings and he just hopes that it, everything works out the best for him and there's a saying right the only combinated common person between all these people is you so Kermani, man i don't know what's going on down there but i really hope that you know you're able to just keep your head on straight man and work man you have a great opportunity to get an education from a top institution down there and to possibly still go to the nfl and the thing about you know all these ath athletes when you hear stuff like this and people tolerate you until they can't do it no more and one thing about this game of football is they move on georgia gets new recruits every year colorado's gonna get new recruits every year florida's gonna get new recruits every year miami is gonna get a new recruits every year so you know you it's is they care about you but at some point that they will move on so i really hope that you know, all of this is just a rumor. I really hope that Kermani it does have his head on straight. Usually where there's smoke, there's fire. And like I said, I hope that somebody, somebody that this young man can can latch on to and finally take, take mold after because, you know, you only get so many chances. And all y'all, I know I've seen it. I've seen several players. I remember I played against one player. He was number one. One of them, I think he was number one defensive tackle as a junior or senior in the country. You know, end up uh, getting kicked off at a top d1 program i ended up playing football with several people several people who should have went d1 and were we getting crewed at d1 and i'm talking about like big 10 but you know they had too many off the off the field issues and i ain't even just talking about grades you know it's, it's hard it's hard and i get it man don't know you don't want to go to practice who wants to get up and go to practice who really wants to get up at five in the morning and go to practice especially when it's hot outside you got the ac on you know what i'm saying you got three hundred thousand dollars in a in your bank account from nil deals it's hard to do that but you gotta keep grinding, man. That's the short term. You wanna be a you want if you say you wanna go to the league, man, you should strive to be a, a all pro, a hall of famer. That's what you gotta do. You gotta go through the pain. Even the things that you enjoy is gonna be painful. And then your whole team, you got your whole team lifting weights and you still skipping it. You know, one thing, one thing that I know is that talent can only take you so far. Without discipline, without discipline, yeah, you'll 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 peak, but at some point the people who are more disciplined will end up passing you and i just really hope that this young man you know can keep his head on straight down there that's all but i just want to get my quick thoughts about it tell me what y'all think